I kind of want to do this concept where we slay the spire until we lose, right? And that would be my slay the spire for the day, but that's bad because it's. You know, I got to give myself some credit. It's been a while. We'll, t we'll try a little bit harder here. Um, and this looks like a better path already. I mean, I already see like some diversity with shops. We have options with elites. I dare say, if I got that carnage from that match game, completely different run. That's not, that's not really a, a hot take, I suppose. Wow, this is uh This is something. I kind of like doing two elites almost on principle quite often. I don't have that option. Let's go this way. Mm hmm. Six damage. Hydration. I gotta go to the store. Ooh. Take an early rampage here. If we were to take stream blow, let's just imagine what we take stream blow. I could upgrade it four times. I'm good, Sophia. How you doing? How have you been? How are you doing? Four times upgrade. Should we see a blow for the memes? I'm just vibing? Very nice. Why don't you vibe on League? Add this. Add. Boom. You like how I add all those details? I've been playing with Sam and stuff, so. You can play some League sometime. Oh boy. Four upgrades in stream blow. Really? Hey, this. Oh uh, no, I, this, Rampage is just the better card, guys. Rampage does a lot of things against the Guardian, and it's only a one cost scaling machine. The price of one energy, it scales for the Guardian, quite simply. Alright, Rampage it is. Stream blow, you know, you had four upgrade potential, and I still didn't take you. I feel like I'm not giving it credit. It's messed up. It's going well, Sarah. What's up, Pod? Nice. Let's go, Rampage. I got a COVID antibody test and I got it came back positive, so I definitely had it back in November. Oh, no. What's up, Pete Scott? Love the content. Been watching for a couple years, but only you look so similar to Penn Badgley. Kind of blew my mind. Yeah, I've gotten that before. Um, I hope you enjoy the show, You and Gossip Girl. Those are my, my two best shows. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that, Sophia. I hope it hopefully heals up. Um, I actually met Penn Badgley in real life once because I, you know, I used to cater in New York City. Tangent said, uh, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this t story in New York City as I decide between Sober Ring and Anger. That's good news. As long as he's got to wait, time we heal it, that's great news. It's not like your nose is permanently effed up, right? If the doctor says it's going to heal, then that's good news. Also, Anger Rampage doesn't feel good. And Sober Ring is, I mean, it's no secret I like Sober Ring. I also really like Battle Trance and Toolbox. All right, so here's here's where our name drop life coach, and I haven't really been watching him recently, but you know, you know, he makes a big effort to buy relics because relics persist between battles, and you know, relics are generally more powerful than cards. That's no brainer. Um, so like here, you buy a relic Toolbox because Toolbox has a lot of value throughout the whole run versus this singular Battle Trance, which could be dropped from a normal fight. So we'll take a toolbox and a weaken. Um, 
So the story, okay, so I was, uh... Okay, that's a good one! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! So I was catering in New York City. It was a big event, you know, celebrities, stuff like that. Pet Badge, Pet Badge, they walks in. Wait, oh, I forgot about Toolbox. Yeah, that's one caveat to not taking Toolbox because you forget about it. Nah, but... Where's this story going? The story is... Oh, I saw him and met him. I guess that's the story. There's not much to... There's not much to stories when you meet somebody. It's just you met somebody. Cool. He was shorter than I imagined. I guess that's the takeaway. He was a bit shorter than I imagined. I guess all actors are, huh? Actors are always shorter than you imagine. But I guess I'm taller than I realized <laughs> as well. <laughs> it's a mix of both. I am above average height, so. Oh, this is unfortunate. I'm 6'2", which is like not super tall, but it's taller than the average person, so. But I swear he was like five eight, five seven. I, actually, I want to Google it. Actually, I want to Google this. I don't know why I care. I, mean, I don't really care, but uh, I'm just curious. He's five nine. Okay, okay, five nine. If you guys think he looks like me, you should see my brother. He looks a lot like my brother. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, this is awkward, guys. This is really awkward. <laughs> Well, frick me. Me and the bones gonna be a lifesaver, huh? Me and the bones gonna be huge. I'm not really a big fan of burning pack this early. Any five three years in the house? Me, me, me. I think you're, you're gonna you're gonna be. It's gonna be hard to find some five three years unless there's other females. And. uh... I think you're the only female in the chat right now, so you, you have uh, no company right now. Let's upgrade the weekend. Mm. Look at the bash. Boss is guardian. Let's rest our little booty and fight this leap. Panache, blind, secret technique. Nice. Man. Bag of marbles is good. Bag of marbles is good. You're the short eyes of the family. It's funny how height works. Um, you know, if like a parent, if two parents have tall gene, your child can end up significantly taller than you. Almost without fail, the, the child is almost always taller. Oh my god, that was so lucky. Can we just talk about that luck real quick? Yeah, this is great, we got a power push in as well. Alright, sounds good, Sophia. Have fun with your groceries. Just remember. Have somebody else smell the goodies because you may not know if it's bad or good. Um, you know, expired or not. No, it's a bad joke. All right, have fun. Okay. The other day I was walking through like the Target or something and I saw like this child, he was significantly taller than his parents. So I was like, Jesus. Like that wasn't planned. It just so happens in that little genetic square or whatever, like he must have gotten both tall genes or something. I don't know the exact science behind it, but he definitely got something. Which is interesting because I was thinking, if you, date, if you like have a child with like a 
a above average tall woman and let's say like you're six to yourself the postman <laughs> Um, your child could end up like six, seven or above, and you could just be like a six, two person. Maybe like let's say you're, I, I don't, I don't know exactly what it would require, but it's very possible that your child could be like six, seven or above if you're both decently tall. Uh, uh, Fiend fire and rampage deck. Yeah, that sounds good, right? Sounds good. Oh man. Bum. Ah, maybe I should take a trip. Yeah, maybe. Nutrition has a lot to do with it. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Nutrition does have a lot to do with it. All these antibiotics we're putting in the meat, man, is making these children freaky. No, I don't know exactly what's causing it, but. <laughs> Our macronutrients and micronutrients that we've been taking as uh, in modern age is totally different, I suppose. It isn't common, yeah. Man, this fight is trash. I kind of want to get hit a little bit little, one more time. Let me get hit one more time. All right, perfect. And now we have making the bone. <laughs> okay. A cleave. A cleave for Act Two. I mean, sure. I'll use a power pot for this fight. I'll take all of this rag too as well. So it's good to have damage right now. Panache, Sadistic Nature. Hey, Sadistic Nature sounds fine. Oh my god, this is a good Fiendfire turn. A Barricade. You never know, guys. Barricade is just one of those cards. You just always like to have it. Uh, this is awkward. Just finished getting every achievement completed, every character is essentially 20, but it says I'm only at 98%, and it is what I'm missing. Um, I think I had that problem as well. I'm not sure. I mean, double check if you're not missing anything, but, uh... Wait, first of all, I don't like the fact that I'm getting rid of Shrug it off here. This is, this is all my block in the deck. In fact, the draw that I got was almost all my offense that I wanted to exhaust. Would Fiendfire came out early? I think I have to do this. Huh. That works. Let's get a weekend in here. What's up, easy pig? Alright, let's get some barricade block. Bomb, bomb. Rampage is huge, guys. Rampage is massive. Look at it go. Alright, here it is. Rampage, lethal. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, there you go. That's it. The juice is great, Easy Pig. How's your juice? Um, all right. We'll talk about these cards in a sec. Yeah, that's a, that. Actually, that's a good one. Death by Sexy. That's a. So if you play the endless mode, you get to see this card, Pride, which is a, an endless mode only curse. Yes. So make sure you go do endless mode, and then you'll get a hundred percent. But in order to get Pride in endless mode, you have to. I think you have to get a couple loops in. I'm not sure. It's been a while. Okay, barricade, berserk, and melee. 
You know, Barricade and Rampage go well together. Alternatively, you could also do some text editing to insert pride. But you know, you know, since you're already almost there, just do endless and get that pride, and you'll feel pride for to find that pride finally. One can hope. Emily is good AOE. I like it a lot. I mean, Berserk is also decent for energy insurance. It's a tough choice, honestly. I mean, I had no block. Barricade just feels like a like a donkey move to take to make if no block in the deck. And Berserk is interesting, depending on what I get on these relics. And Emily is just the better card. Emily is just a good card. Um, give me one second. My dog needs water. Yeah, mushroom mushroom and Berserk is a good a good uh, thing to point out. The thing is about the thing about Berserk in Act Two is that. Things hit you for hard. I mean, really hard. That was a weird way to say it. Things hit you very hard. Avocado hits you for 21. Baseball's hitting you for 20 and 11, and plus the centuries in there, so it might hit you for 13. I mean, things are just hitting you for 30s, and between 20 to 30 range, right? And of course, I can probably get away with Berserk, but... Ah, uh, that sucks, easy pig. That's the, the trials and tribulations of speedrunning, man. You'll get it, man. I believe in you. Sneko Eye. Sneko Fiendfire Emily. I mean... And you hate to see it, but you also love to see it. We got Emily, Fiendfire, Clothesline, Bash. Sneko Eye is looking okay here. I dare say. Also take Philosopher's Stone. I mean, that's a thing. If you don't want to commit to Sneko, you can take Philosopher's Stone. Oh boy, what a pivot this is going to be! I'm currently training for the 100% run right now, which all which is four runs in one. Damn, that sounds meaty. You're doing all of those? That's crazy. That's probably like a seven-hour investment. I don't know what that is, but all right. Sneko is very good. All right, Sneko it is. Let's go. I'm gonna put the air on. It's hot in here. We got Juju. Keep that in mind. We got some Juju on Juju on the beat. <laughs> Juju on the beat. Got some Juju here. Yeah, that sounds nice. I like this path. I like that path. Uh, there's a world where we try to... Mm, no, I like this path. Let me put the air on. Puzzles are 15 minutes only. Fifteen minutes is nothing compared to everything else, huh? Oh, let's go. Magnetism. Madness. Roll the dice. Close line. Damn. All right, mean the balls gonna be huge. All right, I'm down for some chess, man. I am down for some chess. Upgraded cards. Ah, uh, debated. Shrug it off. Alright, this is our first Juzu empowered event. Not that it's empowered, but it's Juzu enabled, I suppose. Transform two strikes or get a special relic. Special relic with bag of marbles. You don't gotta tell me twice. Oh, there's a shop coming up, but I do like this removal. Okay, max HP is very nice. I mean, but okay. I mean, I was in a position and I wasn't sure if... Uh... Have you guys ever watched a chess player discuss their games? If I had energy, so Rank Fiend Fire is game over. 
Well, it's just lethal. Fiendfire... Fiendfire is really gross with uh, Snekawaii. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hard carry Act 2 here. Fiendfire, Snekawaii with uh, Mutagenic Strength and, and Bag of Marbles. I mean, I had powerful turn 1s. Powerful. Panic button. Let me get rid of my rampage. Oh my goodness, Magic Flower, another Immolate. I mean, this is just big booty smackers. I got Chonkers in the deck. I have a whole room of Chonkers. Magic Flower with Regent Pot is very good. I should have taken a moment to think about that a little bit longer. These at least should be trivial. Keyword should be trivial. Oh my, I mean it's without fail. Without fail. All I need for 49 is there are four cards. So I leave myself with four cards. One, two, three, four. Five. I can play one more. And this is glorious. <laughs> a trigger is gonna be nice. Upgrade that bad boy. Mean, mean the bone works with, with yep with magic flower, and so does uh, discovery versus dramatic entrance. We gotta make a choice here, boys. Do I want to invest one energy for discovery and roll the dice, or do I want to do dramatic entrance, which is by the way, eighteen damage. <laughs> well, say no more. I did the math wrong, sorry. 17 damage. 16. Oh my god, even worse. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. Wait, Dave the Yoshi, you gotta be trolling. Dave, either that's the most well timed piece of irony or, you know, just a master troll. Dave says, Why are slavers so hard? What slavers? Yeah, Ancient Potion is good here, but, um, we got Dragonite and Clothesline. I could take a Dragonite. Not really. I could probably just skip here. Yeah, anything could be hard if you don't have the conditions, you know? Dragonite is playable. Like, I can play it. Because Snickle makes it more cheap cheaper than more yeah but it's like even if it's i think it's still like metallic has more than ancient pot but flex pot plus we also have mutagenic strength makes the ancient pot feel a little bit better i'm getting rid of a really good potion for that we got frozen eye i mean how good is frozen eye here where calcum's interesting dark embrace is a massive power Frozen Knight basically says, hey, here are your next seven cards. It's probably not going to change what you do because the costs are variable anyways. It's nice to know what you're coming up into, but... Yeah, I don't know. These are good powers that I'm adding, but... Should I be adding these powers? I do think so, yes. I gotta add some elements of uh, late game Act Four goodness. So Dark Embrace and Evolve are gonna be decent, even if it doesn't feel that way right now. That's one thing to always remember is that. 
Wait, wait one second. All right, well, we need the bone. Unless we get lucky. Are you guys feeling lucky? <laughs> How do I make beating the bone exist here? I need to take a little bit of damage. Just a tiny bit of damage. Hit me ever so slightly. Hit me ever so slightly. And all I know is that it's going down. All right. I mean, if that's not the most beautiful me in the bone you've ever seen, well, then you're probably right because, you know, we've seen a lot of Spire in our day, right? And boom, 74 HP. But yeah, the way this, this, the way this game works is that you take cards that are not good for every fight because you're going to need those cards for the fights where they're good for. Come again, Jeremy? Speak English. You got to add cards that are not going to be beneficial in some fights to be beneficial in other fights. I mean, that's just the way the game works, and that's the beauty of deck building. And who wants to dig? All aboard the digging. However, True Grit Plus is much better than uh, <laughs> True Grit Not Upgraded. But digging is tempting. Oh boy. So what you're looking at now is the ultimate chunker deck. But it's going to fail to beat the heart if I don't get some element of crazy block scaling or damage scaling. or There's a lot of things going on here. I'm going to dig for the people. Boom! Dark Embrace is how we're going to win this game. Dark Embrace is how we're going to win this game. I lied. Never mind. I mean... This damage is sort of nutty. That should be sufficient. GG Barricade That's how we do it Alright They were wondering well, How are you going to win this game Barricade is going to happen First and foremost Into Pandora's box Um well, let me take a look. It's safe to say I don't need a rest. It's safe to say with me and the bone, magic flower, and everything else in between, I do not need a rest. Although Pandora's box is always tempting, energy is even better. The collector was easy, huh? That's the beauty of a, a chonker. Let me, in case you guys don't realize, the collector has a, a laughably low life pool. And he masks that life pool by summoning uh, these little minions. They're like, oh my god, these minions are so terrifying. But if you just ignore the minions and look at his life pool, the guy is laughably weak. So a big chonker deck could just focus on the collector and he's dead in three or four turns. Alright. We gotta fight this. Uh... Damn, this is a rough path. Good luck. This is, this is a rough path. Wow. This is why you don't leave the sparkle for last. My dog, my small dog, Albie, there's two bones, right? And one of them's a big bone, one's a small bone. The small bone should be for the Albie. Okay, but whatever. Albie has manhandled his way to take the big bone. But not only that, he was taking the other bone underneath the big bone and was hoarding both of them, leaving my other dog, Isaac, with nothing. If that's not a bully, I don't know what is. Let me show you guys. Let me put my dog cam on one sec.
me get this dog. Let me get this bone. That's oh, right. This dog came on. Let me get this dog cam working. Ah, I hurt my toe. Ooh. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys don't want to hear this, but I, I closed the door on my toe and I peeled some skin. And it hurts. It hurts. Ah, man. Whew. Boy. Well, that's a face. Oh, man. See, why is I'm going to try for like two minutes. Give me one more because I have another webcam, but it's, it's been acting up. Looks like it's still acting up. Give me, give me one minute here. Oh my god, my toe was hurting. Try one more time. Do you mean from clinch this? I wouldn't say necessarily because of. Uh, I think what's more important than demon form would be utilizing this. I, I built a new chair yesterday, guys. You guys want to see my new chair? Check it out. Look at this. Let's do a close up. Hell yeah. Well, that didn't really help. That didn't really help, but whatever. Yeah, my posture is like, it's it's almost too straight. It was it was alarmingly how straight how my posture became. I was not used to this. All right, let's uh, let's play the game now, guys. Like, like I'm like not used to this at all. I'm used to hunching over, like a gremlin. Where are my emulates when you need them? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, Emily would be nice, huh? See, that's why Snicko can be rough sometimes. That turn right there against the heart, lights out. Dead on turn one. I mean, the bone exists, though. So we're fine. For the moment. Blood pot. Hey. Uppercut. No need for that bad boy. Alright, cult the spot for the heart. Probably not. Look, he stole both bones again. Look at him. Come on, dude. This guy's a little ass. What an ass. Oh yeah, Medicaid, yay! Alright, we can get some max HP in here. If we were to give up a... One of our emulates, we'll get max HP. However, I'd rather go for the strike. Keep the deck slim. I have a 22 card deck, and it has Sneko Eyes, so I draw 7 cards a turn. That means I can cycle through my deck, you know, in 3 turns, which is actually quite phenomenal. Quite phenomenal indeed. Math time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times this is lethal. Ooh. Say no more. Shrug it up plus. You're looking at my dog's ass. But yeah, he does have a happy ass right now.
Jeez. Louise. Oh, you're stealing again. I see you, buddy. I see you trying to steal it. There you go. Get the other one. There you go. There you go. They switch bones. It's too cute. Oh, my deck's trying to see some uh, troubles. Trouble in terrorist town. It's a normal webcam, yeah. So uh, my Logitech webcam is now being used for the dog cam right now. And I have Shockwave, and I have a uh, a DSLR filming me. For some reason, my DSLR DSLR is good. However, the program Sparkle Cam has been having some issues. Wait a second, this is looking juicy. This is looking like a turn right now, guys. That was a Sparkle. Just want to point that out. And that's a Reaper. And this is a dig. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Let's make sure we don't forget our recalls. Guys, what do you guys think? You guys ever heard of no pixel RP? How do you guys feel if I just like become a no pixel RP? Just try it out. I feel like I could be good at RP. I, there's like something within me that I want to unleash. I want to unleash some uh, some RP. It's lurking within me. This barricade is not gonna help that much. I should have won for damage. Oh, this is a tough fight. That's what, I gotta I gotta reach out. It might it might be hard to get in because like you know low pixel has a lot of big streamers and. But I think if you apply for a job like as a police or as an EMS or something, I'm sure there's always. Yeah, I should focus on damage here. I should focus on damage here. I don't quite have the makings for block here. Yeah, I need to make like a, a character plan. I gotta come up with a good idea. That's painful. All right. Me and the bone. <laughs> Hmm. Booyakasha. I right, believe it or not. Believe it or not, um Paper Frog is really big for us. What we need now is a miracle. Oh man. Yeah, any Malakas plays. Uh, a lot of people play. Little Earth. I've watched a great deal of it. I was watching XQC play. 
and all those people, all right? Like Hassan Abi, XQC, and the you know Chain Gang, all that stuff. I was, I was watching. I was having a good time watching it. I've been watching Poking Bowls, Bogged Dan. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. All right, let me think here. A second shockwave. No. Yeah, I thought it was second shockwave. I mean, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I did not hate it. What I really need, guys, is uh, something to make this barricade pop off. Raper there would have been healed for a lot, right? Magic Flower. Yeah, I, didn't, I should have prioritized that a little bit, maybe. I should have prioritized that just a little bit, perhaps. All right. We're in the tail end of this round. We got to focus up. We gotta focus up and tail end. This is good. This is a good fight for us. We should be fine here. Here's the Reaper. Now, now we're going to Reaper. Now the Reaper's gonna happen. Make up for the last, last time. So to kill this guy, all I need is. Well, each each one does twenty two. Okay. Well, I would need four cards. Nice. Power for card draw. Now we're, we're kind of okay here. Let's take a look at Swift Pot versus Thorns. I'll skip. All right. I need. I need something more. Still. Okay. Boom! That's an entrench. Yes! Very good entrench is so stupid. I love it. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, it's a mod that makes like things show you intangible stuff. Souvenir versus I wanna remove a strike. And now we have an option between Souvenir, so we can have a little bit easier time. Well, we just get Strength. Souvenir just gives us three Strength. So Souvenir is basically the same three Strength. Would you like three Strength, sir? I don't hate it. I don't hate three Strength. Should I hate three Strength? Why should I? Why should I hate three Strength? In the grand scheme of things, though, let's say our win condition is simply going to be Paper Frogs doing damage, and Barricade and Trenches doing the block. Three Strength is not that important. We'd rather save the money for a better Relic down the line, right? It's not that impactful. Man, Entrench is really good with this with Captain's Wheel, guys. It's really damn good, man. 
My, oh my. And now we've got 96 block. Like that. That's the kind of block we need for the heart. That's what we need, guys. Paper, paper frog and, and trench is what we have. I mean, you don't need the uh, three strength. There's going to be a better thing to do with my money in Act 4. Hopefully. On average, yes. Not just hopefully, but, you know, most likely, which is more important than hopefully. Damn, guys, Entrench is that dude. The deck's pretty much done, guys. You got the Entrench, and that's really what we needed. You know what it needs, though? Impervious. An offering. Things like that. Supplemental cards. Impervious and headbutt would be nice. Not those cards. We certainly don't need these cards. We dig. Boom! And when I said what do we need, I meant to say we need Mummified Hand. Sorry I forgot to mention that. But that's really good. So now we're, this is an interesting kind of a scenario because Ship is pretty good for Paper Frog and there's also Finesse Good Instincts. Finesse? It's a decent card right now. Kind of dig for one more. I'm not happy with what I drew. I'll do Finesse. I think I'm content with playing Dark Embrace for this fight. And for sure we're happy with playing uh Oh that's nice. We're happy playing Barricade. So I can bridge I'm happy with. We'll play some barricade, do some entrenched things, and that's game over, right? There it is. So now we <laughs> So now here's where the, the interesting stuff happens, right? We would like Barricade to hit Entrench. So how do we maximize that? Well... I think my dog has to use the bathroom. Boom! I'm full of boom today, but man... This run is just hitting all the markers. That's how you maximize it. Nothing but luck there. Luck and good fortune. I mean, it's good because the, we get we don't have evolve, but we do have wrecking brace. This guy's ruthless right now. Ooh. All right, guys. Let me beat this guy real quick, and then I got. I do. I gotta walk my dog. He's he's acting. Uh, he's acting a little bit. Like there's trouble in his. Uh... How nice would it be to get lethal right now? How nice would it be? 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 Damn. Let's get entrenched before we fight. It'd be very nice to get entrenched right here. A decent entrench. There we go. Perfect. That's a good start. Now we can get entrenched one more time. One more entrench for the homies. Uh, it sucks I can't play Evolve anymore, but there's the entrench. It's not that great, though. That's good. I mean, 84. Can't complain. Alright, start doing some damage. Damage. Entrench is here. And not a lot of block to spare, but it's here. It is here. 
And Shneko is being kind to a young man in gray. Perfect. I should upgrade the sugar at some point. I might make a break the run. And now it's the motions. Alright, and Rampage is lethal. Yeah, I can play Void. Alright, let me go walk the dog. I just want to kill this man. Be right back. I won with only Rampage. Oh, of course, it's Barricade and Trench, right? I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Thank you for being patient. Who's next? Time Eater? Who wants Panache versus Jack of All Trades? That's all it takes, man. Catalyst, yeah. One second. Word from Eleanor, groceries are on the table, guys. So let's kill the heart, hopefully, and then we gotta do groceries. Who's down to fiend fire this whole damn thing? It's a lot of block though, guys. Down with the sickness. Oh, we got the barricade out. Now, barricade needs to hit and trench. That doesn't necessarily have to, I suppose. Four cards. We want to get in trench and captain's will turn. That'll be ideal. Untrench and then captain's will turn is ideal. And here it is. Lo and behold. Entrench. Glorious. Don't you love to see it? Now let's proc him over the edge. Let's get entrenched one more time. Entrench one more time. Ah! <laughs> one more time before we proc him over the edge. There it is. All right. One more trench, then we proc him over the edge. One more time, one more time. It's a small, cute deck. Are we feeling lucky? No. Proc him over the edge. Entrench is coming up. Here's Entrench. Glorious. Alrighty, let's reapply Bash, and let's win the game. Nice. Do you have some steel? <laughs> Dead Branch Shiv's that like a very, very near and dear to my heart. Dead Branch Shiv's very near and dear to my heart. Man, Entrench is a broken card. I said it. Cancel me. All 
I said it. Entrench is broken. Alright, so remember how we didn't buy that thing at the shop, which was the souvenir? And we have a decent amount of gold now. Let's see if we made a good decision or not. Let's dig. Who wants to dig? Now, I could dig or I could upgrade True Grit. Now, I have a question for the chat. Who wants to dig versus upgrade True Grit? Nobody? Nobody has any input? Am I alone out here? Alright, dig it is, huh? Sorry, I was looking at something. Let's dig. Self-forming clay is so freaking good. Unupgraded sugar is really inconsequential, guys. It really is inconsequential. Offering is great. Offering removal? Oh my god. Oh, well, you hit the jackpot. Panic button is great because we have a thing called Barricade and Trench. <laughs> oh my god, but here's the thing. We need to play Evolve and Dragon Brace. I need to play all these cards. Who's feeling lucky, guys? I need to hear I need to hit Barricade, Evolve, and Dragon Brace. You guys ready? One. Two. Alright, this will do. This will do. That will do. That will do, sir. That will do. <sighs> Feels nice. Feels really nice. Porsche doesn't block and trench. Marple, you should know better. I didn't get to change my I didn't get to change my direction. Fuck. I didn't get to change my direction. That's real bad. But Emily just hard carries this fight. I was gonna do yeah, that's just like Oh my god. You love to see it, guys. You love to see it. And here, here's the kicker, guys. Here's the kicker, alright? So, I'm gonna ask one question. Do you guys want body slam because we have make a decent amount of block, or do you guys think we don't need it? You guys want body slam? Okay, we'll take it. But here's the thing. Remember that true grit? Do you guys remember the true grit? And this is the culmination of the run. It all comes together. Shut up, Jeremy. Just click it. All right, I'll click it. I'll click it. All right, never mind. Uh, take it all back. Take it all back. Take it all back. Um, so we have finesse, panache. Um, let's do finesse. All right, so taking damage is not bad. It's so performing clay. So let's do it. Just talking to Elia, Elia's the roommate, roommate girlfriend. 
Uh, not, not a great first turn. Now we could do ancient... Ah, this is so awkward, guys. I want to do ancient artifacts so I can stop the vulnerable. Luckily, we have uh, odd mushroom. I can't stop the vulnerable, but I can keep three strength, I guess. That sucks. The mutagenic strength is basically stopping me from not stopping the vulnerable, but that's okay. I mean, what can I do? What can I do? Take their strength and carry it away. We got weaken. We got card draw. All right. Believe it or not, that's pretty decent. Cause I have self forming clay, so this is pretty decent. Bless me. Barricade, evolve. Oh, our scaling is complete. Our scaling is complete, guys. My deck is 15 cards. My powers are out. I've got 39 block. Captain's wheel procs. And so has Entrench. GG. Oh my god. Doesn't it feel good to be a gangster sometimes? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I mean, it's just all one perfect, perfect run. Remember that honorable true grit? Who cares? Entrenched, zero cost. I like. Ooh. Alright, heal. Block, entrench, die. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> One for the record books. We've seen it before. But we've still got it, baby. We've still got it. Alright, I guess I gotta take a shower. I gotta do some... Uh, take a shower and I gotta do uh, some groceries. Nice. Now imagine if we took Searing Blow. <laughs> Guys, Barricade and Trenches is, is awesome. I'm gonna make a whole Barricade and Trenches series.